Hi, I'm David Cooper from ePianos and Whitley Bay Organs. Today I'm going to show you a uh, Roland AT45. It's one of the Atelier range, which is a kind of much more modern range. Roland are quite a, a big electronics company, very big in effects uh, for guitars and for other instruments and also amplification. So their electronics part of their um, business is very, very high quality. And the Roland Ateliers are of quite a modern range of organs, which um, were one of the last to stop making them. So the, the AT45 is the middle of the range. Um, in fact, the one I've got next to it, the AT, ATS Luxury, is the higher model. And you can see from the way these two are, it's a bit lower in cabinet size. And um, it gives you a, a similar sort of layout in the way all the panel is, is arrayed, except for there's a few less features in each, in each section. So the AT80 AT is here, and this is the AT45. Um, now if you come over, one of the things you'll notice is this screen. It's a touch screen and we can choose uh, various things from this screen here. Registration, quick guide, system, rhythm, sound keyboard and record play. So if I go into registration, um, we can actually load registrations from a floppy disk drive um, and you can save your own uh, registrations to this disk drive as well. If we go into um, the quick guide, the quick guide is a, a way of learning about how to use the instrument. So it's a, a guide to what all the buttons do. So if we wanted to find out um, where the octave shift would be, we could go index, O, and there we are, octave shift, upper, lower, or pedal. So we've got quick, quick routes to adjusting something. If we wanted to go into um, the sound of the keyboard, that's this button here, sound. And that goes and shows us in each section what's been selected at any point. So we can see uh, lower orchestra, we might have uh, a choir sound and that will then show um, which choir sound is actually selected. And when we fill the spaces, it shows us on that screen. Split point is also there, the effects on the sounds. Uh, if we come out of that uh, by exiting, we've then got um, a button that's very useful called Music Assist. Now this Music Assist is uh, song titles. So if we go through and we wanted to play a particular song, um, they're slightly cryptic because of the way that the manufacturers aren't allowed to put in the titles. But we've got um, Deep Love, which is probably How Deep Is Your Love. And then um, we had Dark Sugar, which is probably Brown Sugar. So the titles of the songs are slightly cryptic, but they're quite easy to suss your way around them. So I'm going to show you a few of the things on the keyboard, on the organ. Um, we've got these pistons here, there's eight of them. You can set your own sounds to go into these eight, or you can load registrations in that you've got on a disc that you've bought. We sell various discs, and we'll try and include some with it when we sell one to you of this model. Um, if we go through some of the sounds then, let's just come over to the panel for a minute. We've got different sections um, for all the sounds for the upper keyboard. So the upper keyboard has an organ section, an orchestral section, and a solo section. So if I just turn off my orchestral section, the first is my organs. And I've got full organ. I've got jazz. Pipe organ. Now this is just one section, that's three really good sounds already, but each section I've got here, I've got a button called Others. Now this Others button is rather clever because they can't put a panel with all the sounds on at once. So what they've done, Others gives us an option to give us um, another uh, couple of sounds. And if we press the Others button, it's currently in the organ section and we have seven pages. We're on page five of seven. So if I wanted theatre organ sounds, with the other button turned on, I can choose between, uh, we've got tibias, theatre organ orchestra, so they're really good preset sounds and we go to some more theatre organ six now each of the sections have this other button and we've also got alternate so we can have another's button and we can have a second sound in the alternate sound. So we can have more than one stored sound 
within this um, others button. And each section, we've got another one here, others, another one in the solo section. So it allows us to have available sounds that we can just bring in and have ready waiting uh, in, the, in the back of the stage or whatever you want to call it to be able to just bring in when you want it. So if I want to make it my own sound, I can mix different sections together. So a brass band, I've got my bass section and I could put into there a, a tuba or a trombone sound. So in my bass pedal section, I'll go to my others button and I'm going to choose, I'm going to go to brass and I'm going to choose, let's have a look what we've got to choose from. We've got a trumpet, trumpet two, flugelhorn, or I could go to um, my bass section and I could choose a tuba, three, I'll keep the tuba three. So that's my first sound. Then in my uh, lower section, I probably want to have some more sort of brass instruments. So I'll go into my lower orchestra and I'm going to choose, um, let's have a look, French horns. It's too soft. That's trombone, trumpet, too bright. Let's go trumpet, flugel. That's quite nice. So let's go to my melody section now and I'm going to put in, um, I'm going to go to my orchestral section and choose some more brass instruments. Uh, so maybe we'll go to a trumpet. So let's try that now. So I've got my brace. So we can put sounds together and they give us a good combination. We could say we wanted to play some uh, theatre organ or church organ. Let's go to church organ. So we go to our bass sound and this time we'll go in and we'll put the organ section on and we'll choose a, a, a big theatre or a church organ bass. That's a great sound. Then I'll put a lower keyboard sound so I'll go to my organ others. And this time I'll go to church as well. And in my melody sound again, I'll go to my organ section, others, and I'll choose a sound again. So we can, we can choose exactly what. We can then change the volume. So my lower keyboard is probably just a little bit too loud or my lower upper keyboard is too quiet. So I'm gonna put my upper keyboard up and we can see on the screen here, look, the, the lights going up for it. My lower keyboard, it's down slightly. sound. Let's soften that lower keyboard down a little bit. There we go. And soften the upper keyboard down a little bit now. down so it's really easy to mix different sounds together from different sections and just put them into the others buttons and have a, a big selection to choose from and that's what I think is really nice about this instrument and then if you get a sound that you like you can write it into one of these eight buttons so I'm going to memorize that into number one and it flashes and that now means it's stored in there for me. So if I move it to something else, 
my number one now it's still there available for me and I can save eight at a time in a batch so the whole instrument has these other buttons and that makes a huge benefit to playing because we have our huge selection of voices to, to mix between. Now some of the things that we've got in here as well are solo instruments. So we have to remember if we're going to play a solo instrument we might want to turn off the other two sections. So I'll just turn this one I was using off and that will bring me back to just the sax. Trumpet. Flute. But if we go to the others button again, we've got all those choices to, to get from. And so if we go into a uh, human voice, we've got things like jazz. <laughs> doot. <laughs> dat. <laughs> bap. <laughs> downfall. Down, 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 down. And even our touch, if I press harder, down. compared to softly. Down. And we can go to other pages, we've got Gregorian Choir. Synth Choir. So quite nice sounds to mix between. If we go into a different section, let's go to strings. I'm going to use the strings in the orchestral section because it lets me play more than one note at a time. The, the solo instruments are mono, so only one note plays. So let's go to the other button, choose my string section, and you can see how easy it is to navigate around orchestral strings. Okay, so we've gone through some of the voices that the keyboard offers us, the, um, using the others buttons and mixing the sounds together, but there's a really good rhythm section built into this too, and also a very good section for making us sound a lot better than we are with the accompaniments and the, the, the place where it plays the bass for us. We can do one note chords if we want to, so it, it's all there for, for everyone who plays organ in different ways, whether you're a really good player with your, your bass pedals or whether you're a, a one finger chord player or someone who likes to use the automatics to big up their sounds and enjoyment. And that's one of the things I quite like doing. So this has a really good rhythm section. We'll use um, over here the rhythms. They're in categories. We pick the category we want. And on the screen then we get a choice. In the, I've chosen the Big Band category and we've got two pages. And on page one I've got New Big Band, which is the one I've chosen from the touch screen. Now, uh, also over here we've got uh, four variations on how much the rhythm section actually going to give us. So we've got basic, one, advanced, two, and full. And that's how much is going on in the background. Now very often you're playing and there's so much going on that it sort of takes away from the melody you're playing or the, the feeling you want to put across. So we can just track it back a little bit so it's not quite so full. But if I use the, the new big band and I put on my one touch button, it gives us two groups. Now the first group is using all the orchestral voices and all the effects on the instrument. The second group is using your organ sounds. So when I choose this or, um, one touch button, group one or two decides whether I want organ sounds or solo instruments and um, orchestral instruments. So I'm going to go down the orchestral instrument route and when I choose it, group one, it then gives me these four choices, one, two, three and four. I'm going to leave it on number one for a moment. New big band I've got. Uh, we've got it shown, so the moment that I play my chord, when well, we've got it on here, we've chosen group one, number one. The moment I play my chord, we get an introduction. So intro comes in, and it's quite a big one too, be ready for this. <laughs> Loads going on. And there's an extra bit now. Ready? So I'm not playing any bass pedals, but it's doing the full backings. Number two. Three. Three, 
तो that's a little bit overpowering. There's so much going on, so I can take it back to basic. It just cuts all those things out, or I can bring the volume down. And it takes it down on the screen here. Endings as well. Okay, so really, <laughs> so there's loads going on, and it and it makes you feel great. It's really good fun. Let's go to another one because this is quite a modern one. We've got some of the sort of acoustic guitar stuff that's become in the charts in the last. 10 or 15 years. So if I go to acoustic guitar, and um, we've got um, guitar trio, fireside, guitar slow, guitar pop. So I'll go to guitar slow, and I'll go to my one touch setting button again, which gives me all the full on backings. And we've got group one again, which is the, um, the one for all the instruments. And number one here, I'll play my chord. Just a nice backing. Now the guitars have effects on them. When I press harder, I get a little bend on the string. Two. Press harder. And I'm endings. Now I'm a Dixieland fan, so let's just go back into, um, I've got one traditional in showtime. Put on Dixieland, let's just see what we get for that one. So we've got again our four choices, and I'm going to go into group one, number one, play my chord. So loads going on in the background to make you feel really good about your playing. It's a really good instrument and a really big sound. The one thing I would say, compared to the AT-80S, it's a quieter sound. The speakers aren't as powerful, understandably, because it's a little bit lower in the range. It is a little bit smaller cabinet. Uh, you've still got the great screen to make it very easy to navigate your way around. But as an instrument, it's really good fun. It is a really big sound. And um, with all the choices of sounds and backings that are in there, it's very modern and that gives you a good a good choice of the traditional stuff the organ sounds as well as all those fun backings and accompaniments to um, enjoy i hope you found that useful do give us an email or a message if you want to know more about it or give us a call on 0191 257 1666 and i'll be pleased to answer any of your questions i hope you found that useful mm -hmm.